video, I'm going to show you how to set up a learning mastery gradebook. So the first thing you need to do is think about what your outcomes are going to be. So what are those standards or outcomes that you want students to master? Uh, if you scroll down on your left side, the left bar navigation, you'll find um, a button here. It says outcomes. So click on that. And um, a really helpful thing is you will see links to um, help pages within Canvas. So I encourage you to use these. Um, they're very visual um, to help you figure out how to do um, certain things that I may not go over. And if this ever goes away, um, just notice there's a little arrow on the right top side here so you can get those help features to come back. So this is where you want to set up your outcomes. The easiest way to do this is just to go to the outcomes little plus mark here. Um, I was playing with this before, so <laughs> this probably won't pop up for you. Um, and come up with a name for your outcome. So um, I'm going to do reasoning. If you have a want a shorter name, a friendly name for that, that shows up in the grade book. Um, you can put that there, but I'm happy with reasoning. So for me, reasoning, um, the student uh, explains how the evidence um, supports the claim uh, using appropriate science concepts, something like that. All right, so that's my description of your, my outcome. Um, and then below here are different levels um, for the outcome, and it actually assigns some points to it so it can work with your regular grade book. Um, so this is a five point scale. You may wanna change that, and that's easy to edit. This is like a rubric here. So um, if you just click on the little uh, pencil button. You can change that. I've been just saying advanced. Gives it a four. Then push OK. Here, proficient three. Um, I'm calling this developing for two points. And then if you want another level, you just click this insert and um, beginning, and I'll give that one point. Okay, um, and I'm saying mastery is three, so you just need to be proficient. Now you have some choices on how um, the gradebook decides if a student has um, mastered a particular um, uh, outcome. So the descriptions are below, so the decaying average, you can see what the description is along with an example. Um, so I want to say the student has to, to achieve mastery, they have to um, be proficient five times. Um, so here's an example of how that works. And I'm just going to push save. I'm happy with everything. Excellent. So now I will, I'll see that um, outcome here on the left, I made some before. So now I have three outcomes. The next thing you want to do is um, come down to your course settings. So we'll do a couple things within the settings. The first thing you'll notice is that next to the outcomes, um, there's this little slash mark through an eyeball. That means students actually won't see outcomes. Um, you probably want your students to be able to see these. Um, so if you go to settings, and it'll probably start with course details. So go over to navigation. The things on the top, these are the buttons that students will see. If you wanna remove any of these, like you're not using that class notebook button or the Office 365 button, you can go ahead and just, oops, drag them down into um, the bottom portion here, and that will hide it from students. It'll still be there for you if you like to use that. 
Um, but if you want them to the students to be able to see the outcomes, find it down here um, and just go ahead and move it up maybe wherever you want it. Um, so I'm putting it above the grades. Okay, I'm gonna save that. And now I'm gonna head over here to feature options. So the learning mastery gradebook is a feature that you have to turn on. So it's actually the first thing here. So just move this little slider over. You also probably want your students to be able see, to see the mastery gradebook so they know um, if they're approaching mastery on different things. So turn that on as well. Um, the other things uh, you may at some point want to play around with mastery paths, but for now we'll just leave it at that. Okay, and there's no save button there. So if we go over to the grade book, so just click over on grades. Right now my grade book, um, it's automatically now showing my mastery grade book. If for some reason it um, goes directly to your regular grade book, you can just switch over. Um, let me go back to the normal grade book. If, if this is the view you see probably with students listed, then just click over here and you can go to learning mastery. And then if you wanna go back to your regular grade book, you just select grade book right there. So here's my student. Um, I don't have any assignments yet for these different outcomes, but this is where they'll be. Um, they'll, they'll actually show the points from the rubrics that, that were in there, and then um, it'll color code them as well. So that is a basic introduction to this mastery grade book. Um, remember, you can always click here and learn more about how to use this um, with the Canvas help tools.